If you want to know how to find your Ikigai, this is exactly what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to especially share with you seven habits to deprogram yourself because in order to find your Ikigai, first, you need to deprogram yourself. And I'm going to tell you why too. So stick around. Now, first of all, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Sachiaki Takamiya, and I'm going to show you the picture again to uh, let you know what I am doing and things. Uh, yes, so Ikigai is the field of my expertise since I have written two books on the subject, and I am the founder of a philosophy called Zen and a way of sustainable prosperity. And that is a philosophy to help you become sustainably prosperous, healthy, happy, and enlightened. Yes. So today, uh, I'd like to talk about how to find your Ikigai. But first of all, what does Ikigai mean? It is a Japanese word, and often it is interpreted as the reason for living or the life purpose. Yes. Um, but my definition of Ikigai is more like the life mission. Yes, the mission in your life. So why you came here? like why you are born and what you are supposed to accomplish accomplish in your life. Yes. Um, so how to find your Ikigai? How to find your life mission? Um, some of you uh, have probably seen this diagram. Yes. And this diagram is often introduced as a way to find your Ikigai, and I think it is quite helpful. Um, you can uh, find what you love to do, what you are good at doing, and what the world needs, and what you can be paid for. Yes, uh, sometimes it works. However, having coached some people on that topic, for some of them, it is difficult to find what you love because they don't know what they love, for example. Or um, some of them feel there's nothing they feel they are good at. Um, by the way, uh, even though you don't find anything that you feel you're good at, uh, you can learn uh, new things. Therefore, in about a few years' time, there may be more things you are good at doing. Therefore, in that case, maybe it is a little too early for you to use this kind of diagram. Um, another thing is like what the world needs. What does it mean? Are you talking about the market and the demand? Or are you talking about the problem of the world and the solutions for those problems? If it is a market or demand, then by providing solutions or providing support for those demands, uh, you can be paid for. But if you're talking about the solutions to problems of the world, uh, some of them you can be paid for, but others uh, you may not necessarily uh, be able to get paid for. And yet still it is important. So depending on uh, your definition of Ikigai, uh, it is different. Yeah. Um, this diagram is more useful for what I call Ikigai business, the work with Ikigai. So if you want to find a work which is fulfilling and meaningful, maybe this diagram is helpful. But to find your Ikigai, just simply your life mission, because your life mission uh, may not be your work. I mean, it can be your work, but it may be different too. Um, as I say, uh, for some of you, it may be too early to use this diagram in your stage. Um, you, because you may not be able to come up with good answers to those four questions with your present mindset. <coughs> Let's, <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two
Now, there is a quote. Problems cannot be solved with the same mindset that created them. It is a quote uh, made by Albert Einstein, by the way. It's a very famous quote. So let's say if you didn't know your life purpose or your life mission up to now, probably you will not be able to find it with the same mindset. So first, you need to sift your mindset in order for you to be able to come up with new answers. Um, by the way, there is no easy way. I mean, I know a lot of people are looking for a quick, easy way, uh, and there are people who are providing uh, uh, easy ways too, uh, such as how to find your ikigai in five minutes. Um, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, as far as I'm concerned, there is no easy way. I mean, I have been searching about happiness or meaning of life or how to create a society where everyone can be free and happy all my life. And I've traveled to many countries. I have done all kinds of things, different spiritual practices, psychotherapeutic works, um, and lots of things. And I'll tell you that there is no easy, simple way to find your Ikigai. It takes time. Um, by the way, uh, this quick solution is similar to fast food mentality. And the world of internet, unfortunately, is very similar to the fast food culture. Uh, people are looking for quick, easy solutions. And the world has become so convenient and we can access to all kinds of information. Uh, people want uh, something quick. And then uh, if you cannot find or if one information doesn't satisfy you, you can always look for other information. I mean, after spending a few hours uh, searching, you'll probably find something. We'll probably find a video or uh, some a site uh, telling you uh, easy, fast way to find your Ikigai. And if you're looking for that kind of information, that uh, if you want to feed yourself with a fast food type information, then go ahead. Yes. But if you're interested, if you're seriously wanting to find your Ikigai, which lasts for a long time, then I would go for a fermentation process. Uh, now, uh, when we talk about the food, uh, if the food goes through fermentation process, then the uh, ingredient changes and the nourishment change to become so powerful that it starts working to all cells in your body and mind. Um, and, and also, I mean, you're talking about your life goal. It's not like uh, you're uh, looking for information to, you know, how to get to the train station or, you know, how to use a, a machine or something. Uh, it is uh, a fundamental uh, a question that you are looking for. Therefore, you want to spend some time on it. To shift your mindset, you need to deprogram yourself uh, because we have been programmed. I think most of us have been uh, socially conditioned. We have been programmed by our education. We've been programmed by our diet, like what we eat and how we eat. And we have been programmed uh, by the media, everything. Uh, therefore, the first step to change your mindset is to cleanse yourself from your social conditioning and programming. I'm, uh, I'm going to share with you seven habits, seven daily habits you can apply to deprogram yourself today. Number one, change your diet. Yes, we eat three times a day. Um, diet is a powerful thing. Uh, I think uh, it is the most effective way to deprogram yourself uh, because what you eat and how you eat uh, affect uh, so much uh, in our life. And the next step is stop watching TV. Now, uh, I know uh, there's some good uh, element of watching TV, 
But I think when you look at the merit and demerit, the demerit is far bigger than the merit. Therefore, at this point, I don't recommend that you watch TV. The next one is a little similar. Stop using the internet as much as possible. That means do not use smartphone or Facebook and everything. Um, now, the internet is a little different. Uh, probably uh, there are uh, more merits in the internet than the merits uh, in the TV. However, I think more and more the demerit of the internet is growing. And now, uh, probably the demerit uh, is bigger than the merit. Therefore, uh, at this point, I don't recommend uh, that you use internet too much, but I know some of you may use the internet for your work. So I'm not saying you should stop using it completely, but just limit your usage, yeah? Uh, use the internet purposefully, yeah? Do not just uh, use the internet because you're bored or anything, uh, but just having a purpose and goal uh, or what you want to do with the internet when you use it, yes. And the next step is take a walk in the woods. Yeah, spend some time in the wilderness, in the nature. Yeah, take a walk or go cycling, anything is, anything is okay, but um, yeah, be in the nature. That will give you a new perspectives in your life. Five, grow vegetables. Now, this is a little similar to the last one. Uh, so you want to spend a lot of time in the nature, but growing vegetable is a good way because you will observe a lot. You'll observe the natural world a lot. Uh, for example, uh, what kind of weeds are growing in your garden and what kind of insects are around. And you'll be surprised to discover a lot of insects that you have never seen before in your life. And also, what happens to the plant when it rains a lot or when it doesn't rain for many days so you observe uh, the natural world much more and that will give you a new perspective in your life uh, next step is meditate yes medication is the tradition it is the traditional method and it is the most common way to discover yourself. Uh, it has been practiced throughout the world, throughout our history, in many different uh, spiritual practices. Yeah, uh, you, you can try Zen meditation or you can try mindful mindfulness meditation, anything is okay. Um, just uh, make meditation uh, uh, as a part of your uh, daily uh, custom. The last one is do something you don't normally do. Now, there is a saying, if you continue doing what you have always done, you'll continue to get what you have always got. Now, so who you are today, yeah? Uh, what you have been doing and the kind of thought you have been having made who you are today. Therefore, if you want to change yourself, if you want to see a different uh, you in the future, then do something different. Uh, think differently and act differently. And find your daily habit or daily action that you don't normally do. Uh, for example, if you're the kind of person who don't read books so much, then start reading books. Or uh, Start meeting new people, start associating with the type of people that you uh, haven't met before because those people will give you new insight. And uh, I said that uh, watching TV is bad for you, but if you're the kind of person who didn't watch TV or who dislike watching TV, maybe watching TV is good for you. So usually, uh, I don't think watching TV is good, but uh, in this particular uh, purpose to uh, do something you don't normally do, uh, watching TV can be beneficial for you. Yes. So to sum up, uh, seven habits to deprogram yourself. Uh, one, change your diet. Two, stop watching TV. 
Three, stop using the internet as much as possible. Four, take a walk in the woods. Five, grow vegetables. Six, meditate. Seven, do something you don't normally do. That's it. All right. So these are the seven habits to deprogram yourself because first you need to deprogram yourself in order to change your mindset. Once you acquire new mindset, then you're ready to start uh, applying ways to discover your ikigai. And I'm going to make more videos on this topic. Um, so, uh, but, but I don't know when I'm going to release the next video. So please sub subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to be informed. And also I have a blog, uh, which I give the link in the below. So uh, you can read my blog too and find out more about my philosophy. And you can also read my books as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching today. And I will see you in the next video.